What is up, Roughnecks? This is Pwn Source Rex, and today we're going to be discussing how to give yourself experience, how to put points into your skills, and how to reset your skill points if you need to. So, if that is something that interests you, please take a second to like the video and subscribe to the channel, and let's get right to it. All right, guys, first off, you're going to hit F1. You're going to type in DM. You're going to type in CM to turn on the debug menu and the creative menu. You're going to then just hit F1. That way we don't have to do it in a little bit. You're going to hit N. N is going to bring up your skill tree. You've got perception, strength, fortitude, agility, and intellect. Up here in the to top middle, it's going to say points available. I have one point available. All right, I'm going to click perception. I'm going to put a point in perception. Oh, no, I did not want to put that point in perception. Now let's remove our skills. Right here in my inventory, I have Grandpa's Forget and Elixir. These are 6,000 dukes from a trader. But you can easily get one from the creative menu. Let's say you don't have 6,000 dukes and um, life is difficult in the game, but you don't want to restart uh, and you just, you just want to reset your skills. Okay, you're having a hard time, you want to reset your skills, you made a mistake, da-da-da-da-da. Anyway, what you could do is you could go right over here to the creative menu, you could go right up to the search bar and type in Elixir. Well, Elix. And then right here is going to come up the forget Elixir, put it in your inventory, and boom, you can use it. And when you use it... It's going to say, are you sure you want to reset all your skills? All points will be returned for use on other skills. Okay. The guy drinks it up, and then you hear the noise, and then you can go into your skills, and boom, I no longer have a point in perception. All right. So now to give yourself experience so you can get more uh, skill points. You get some skill points for doing tutorials, but you get the majority of your skill points from leveling up. You get one uh, point per level, I believe. What we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to find out how many points we need to get to the next level. So here, you're going to click your character, and this is what you're normally going to be looking at. Right over here on the top left is a core character stats. It looks like cell phone bars on your cell phone. And then you go down, and second from the top is XP to the next level. 11,576. Okay, so now we already turned on the debug menu. So hit F1, and then give self XP 11,576. That's what it was, right? Boom. Okay, and it says, executing command, give self XP 11,576. Pwn service made it to level 3. Boom. Ne EXP for next level, 12,155. All right, so now we're level 3. We have two points available. But say you just want to max out you just want to max yourself out i just do give self xp and then just type a ton of nines just bah, 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 bah. boom and now i am level 300 and i can just go up here and i've got 299 skill points available and i could just go right down and just load everything out and do whatever the heck i want okay at this point it don't matter because you just totally got yourself the max level now this could be interesting and useful if you want to build out a uh, skill tree to test it let's say you want to actually know how well treasure hunter works because this is when you take the the digging ones and you want to actually see it says uh, for every three blocks dug up the treasure search radius is reduced by one meter. Find 30% more items. Okay, well, that's a massive difference from every seven blocks. So maybe you want to see exactly what that does for you because you like digging up treasure, buried treasure quests. I mean, that might be something you want to do. You want to see how good it is so you can try it out. You may want to see how uh, well this the spear works at max level. You know, you know, Animal Tracker. You may want to try out Animal Tracker. There, there are many different things. You may want to see what the difference is if it's if it's good or beneficial to try Miner 69er or Motherload. Or you may want to try out 
uh, pack mules, see how it looks or feels. Um, you know, you may want to try these things, and you could do it in the test game by using the Give Yourself EXP, and then every time you want to try to rebuild and do a different tier, just use the Forget and Elixir, reset, and then build a new tier, and try it out and build your different builds in this way, and test them within the game. You can also do this if you want to, uh, right here, you hit I, and you see your game, your level, and your game stage level. You may want to try playing with a high game stage uh, to test out different builds, um, you know, Horde Knight builds that you make. You may want to try out your Horde Knight base against a harder level to see how long in the game it will last for you, and see when you need to start designing a new uh, Horde Knight base. So this has many applications for testing purposes, which is what I primarily use it for because I, when I play the game uh, and I actually do a playthrough, I generally um, do like a one death only uh, and just go as far as I can go until I die. And I usually do like 30 minute days or sometimes 15 minute days, 20 minute days, whatever. I do like a short so that I can play it all in one sitting. Um, but at any rate, guys, you can use this for many different applications and you'll find applications to use it for. Uh, so at any rate, I hope this helped you out. And if you liked the video, make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel. And if I don't see you in the comments below asking me for a different type of video you want to see, you know, I'll see you in the next video.